birds in my yard are going crazy right now. Except for you guys. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Miley. If you are new here, I do a new DIY video every single week. So subscribe to my channel if you would like to. So this week I have another bathroom makeover for you guys and this is the bathroom that is off of my bedroom. So this is a really small bathroom so the goal of this makeover is to one make this feel as big as possible and to come up with some creative storage solutions and as a person that used to live in New York City I pride myself on coming up with creative storage solutions for small spaces. So without further ado let's jump into this makeover. Okay, here is my bathroom. I told you guys it is small in here, but it still has the potential to feel a lot bigger. There's just a lot of awkward things about this space that make it feel a lot smaller, and there's also just some weird things that, to me, just don't make sense. Like this towel rack, for instance. What is this thing? It comes like a foot off of the wall, it's big, it's clunky, and visually it just takes up a lot of space, making the space feel even smaller. And also, if you saw my last bathroom makeover, you know how I feel about a towel rack. They just don't make sense. A hook is far superior. Next is this medicine cabinet. Now, medicine cabinets can be great if you store a bunch of small things in your bathroom, but I don't keep medicine in my bathroom, so this thing can fit my toothbrush. So the first thing I had to do in this space, like I have to do with every room makeover, was paint. And I went with white because it's pretty common knowledge that if you want to make a room feel bigger, brighter, and clean, white is going to be your best option. And of course, it's me, so I wanted to make a fun accent wall, so I chose this blue and white bird wallpaper for a few different reasons. One, this wallpaper is mainly white, so we're still keeping the space bright and white and airy. And then the blue in this wallpaper is bringing in that blue color scheme that I have going on in my bedroom. And then of course, I just also love birds. And I'm not sure why, but this wallpaper was really hard to work with. It took me just as long to do this wall as it did for me to do that big wall in my bedroom. I'm guessing it's because I had to work around a lot of different things on this wall. Like the last panel, I had to completely remove this old light before I could put it up, and since the old light was already off, I went ahead and replaced the light. If you saw my last bathroom makeover, this is the same style of light I used in the other bathroom. I just replaced the geometric shade for a more classic glass shade, and I got both lights at the same time for $5 each on Facebook Marketplace. Next, I had to tackle updating this vanity. And if you're new to my channel, I now for several projects have used the same technique to paint furniture. I always start with sanding whatever I'm painting, and then I do two thin layers of primer, and then two layers of whatever paint color I'm using. In this case, I went with the same navy blue paint that I used to paint the boards for my board and batten wall in my last video. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And I went with this color to further carry the same look and colors into the bathroom so that both rooms work nicely with each other. And then I finished off this vanity with a matte spray enamel. To further update this vanity, I took some gold spray paint and spray painted the hinges and handles gold. And to replace the towel rack, I got these gold hooks because again, the hook is far superior to the towel rack and this is also nice and sleeker and pushed up against the wall, not making the space feel smaller. Okay, now we can finally get to some new stuff that I haven't done in other videos already. So I knew right away I wanted to create some shelving for this space because shelving is a great way to add some storage, but I wanted it to be a lot different than the wall shelving I did in my last bathroom makeover. That was two pretty big shelves that came about a foot off the wall, and I knew something like that would really overwhelm the space. Also, to make a small space feel bigger, you visually want to draw the eye up, 
so I wanted to create one long piece that had a bunch of small shelves. Next up, I wanted to do something really simple that I thought would make a big difference. Since this is a small bathroom, I don't really have any countertop space, and I wanted to make sure that the counters didn't get cluttered with a whole bunch of things. So taking a 1x4, I made a really long skinny shelf, adding just enough space for me to declutter the countertop. Finally, I wanted to create a solution that was like a medicine cabinet, but bigger so I could store some of the bulkier items that didn't fit in the medicine cabinet. So to add some storage, I designed out a shallow shelving system that would hang on the back of the bathroom door. And if this jewelry holder looks familiar, I made this in my 5 DIYs in 5 days video and I planned it out that there was just enough space for the two so that the door can still fully open. And you know what time it is. It's time for the final detail montage. <laughs> is guys the final before ugh, look at that old towel rack and after honestly i think everything i did in the space i achieved my goal of making the space feel a bit bigger and more functional
This shelf does exactly what I wanted it to do, drawing the eye up and making the space feel bigger. This little shelf adds just enough surface space so I can display a few things. And of course, this hanger behind the door, which I'm obsessed with. It's just like a medicine cabinet where everything is hidden away, but it's bigger so I can actually store things on it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification so you know when I post, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys!